The Hebrew Bible teaches about food and Sabbath. When the Israelites were wandering in the desert, God gave us food in the form of manna. It tasted wonderful. Every day there was enough manna for just that day. But on the Sabbath, God and people stopped. They rested and there was no manna. Instead, in what could be called the first centralized, transparent resource planning, God put a double portion on the Friday. People had to restrain themselves and make the food last. From the earliest time, we've had to learn about fair distribution and about restraint. Today is the same. There is enough food in our world, but we need to be active and we need to demand from the G8 that food is given to all, wherever we live. On this day, our Sabbath, let's demand that the world leaders understand about what is fair for everyone. There is enough for everyone. And now is the time to say enough. Let's hear it. Enough. I'm proud to say that the Jewish community has played such a big part in this campaign and prouder still that we have done alongside friends and colleagues, sisters and brothers from every faith and none. People like my lovely friend and colleague Julie Siddiqui. Good afternoon, London! Woo! And thank you to everyone who's been involved in this IF campaign. I stand before you here today as a mother of four happy children, as a woman of faith and as a Muslim who wants to see the injustice of hunger eradicated. Hunger today is not a natural disaster. It is a human-made disaster. Three million children lose their lives every year from hunger. One in eight people go to bed hungry every night. Hunger kills more of the world's children than all of our terrible wars put together. My faith teaches me that I am not true to my faith if I go to sleep full when people around me are hungry. I am proud of the Muslim organisations that have come together like Islamic Relief, Made in Europe, Human Appeal and Muslim Aid who have been at the forefront of the IF campaign and so many other fantastic organisations. about living it. It really is about action. The injustice may seem too great and the barriers may look too high. But when we have it in our power to fix a problem, we must. As long as we have a voice and a vote, we should use them for the causes that matter. That is my belief and that I believe is your belief too. And looking out over all of these amazing people in Hyde Park today, I know that we are going to win. And thousands of people have come together today to say no to hunger. Not in 2013, not on our watch. That's the message from us, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce another special IF supporter, Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Worldby. Thank you. Woo! 